I like to, you know, always tell people, whenever the Holy Spirit gives you a dream or something where God is communicating a message to you that he really wants you to get or something he wants you to act on, he's obligated to make it crystal clear. And sometimes you'll have a dream or a vision and you'll get up and it's really foggy and you can't really remember the details. Well, it's most often that wasn't something that God was really trying to communicate. Sometimes it's, it's a result of our subconscious mind. Sometimes we go to sleep thinking about things or we may have thought about something uh, throughout the day or during the day or somebody came in our mind or even something that upset you or irritated you or bothered you. And sometimes we'll go to sleep and those things will be in our subconscious and we'll begin to dream about them. And so sometimes that happens. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we eat too late. But then there's also uh, a time where uh, the Spirit of God is communicating a message from the Father to us. And one of the languages of the Holy Spirit, the way he communicates is through dreams, is through visions. And so he will, you know, unlock something, a message to us and communicate it to us. And most often those dreams are very vivid. Um, you, you can really remember certain details about those dreams. And so I always tell people to have uh, some paper or tablet or something like that beside your bed so that when, you know, you are awakened and you remember something, you can write down the parts that you do remember. Write down the details of it. Write down the colors that you see. Oftentimes, colors are synonymous and have a great significance as it relates. If you see numbers, write the numbers down that you see. A lot of times, numbers have great significance and carry meaning according to the scriptures. Um, sometimes you may see just specific faces. And for me, when, when I get up and I encounter things like that, and if it's not crystal clear, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray what I know about that situation, if it's something that I'm aware of, or that individual, or I'm going to pray in my heavenly language, because the Bible says when we don't know what to pray for as we are, we're not limited. We're not restricted. We can pray in our language, our heavenly language, and the Spirit of God will pray the perfect will of God for that situation. And so whatever it is that God wanted to accomplish, whatever it is he may have wanted to interrupt or stop or prevent, sometimes it could be a warning for someone. Sometimes it could be something, you know, he wants you to share, to encourage someone, uh, whatever it is, you know, whatever that part is, I'll pray in the spirit. And if God wants to let me in on it and give me the details and specifics of something that I'm supposed to reach out to them or text them, I, you have to be obedient to what the Spirit of God is telling you because He doesn't just show us things just to say He showed it to us and then we can say later, oh, I saw that, I knew that. I, you know, I had a witness of that. Well, how did you involve God in that situation if we don't involve Him in it? God has to stand outside of situations that happen on the earth until He can get a man or woman to, to give Him permission. And I know that sounds crazy to some that we have to give God permission, but He he said in Genesis, let them have dominion over the earth. So he put us in charge. And so when we want God's involvement, we've got to invite him in. And that's why prayer is so important. So I hope that um that helped with your question. Hi, I'm on here. Byron said, it's amazing you're talking about dreams because I had an interesting dream last night and it was so vivid. Okay, so write down the details and the descriptions, the colors, the faces, the words, um, the things that you recognize or that stood out to you in the dream. Write those things down and ask the Spirit of God to begin to breathe on that, to give you further clarity, to open it up, to reveal to you if it's something you need to pray, if it's something you need to, to, uh, to know or to be aware about. You know, many years ago, I would say maybe about four years ago, I kept dreaming about Korea. I'd never been to Korea. I'd never... Uh, I didn't know anyone that lived in Korea, but I would just get up and I would just begin to pray, you know, concerning Korea. I just pray in the spirit. Okay, God, whatever this is concerning Korea, I want to be, to allow you to be involved. You're trying to, to get involved. You know, the scripture says, I sought for a man to stand in the gap before me for the land so that I could intervene, but I couldn't find any. I, so I wouldn't destroy it. I couldn't find any. And so God sometimes is trying to get in situations and he needs someone to open up and make themselves available so he can work through them and get involved in that situation.
And so I just kept praying about Korea, praying in the spirit. And then as some years went on, we started to hear about the, the, the ruler that was over there, the, the president, the person that's in charge, Kim Young, Jung, however, however you say his name. And we started to see the conflict, right, that we have now going on with Korea and them, uh, you know, launching missiles and, and all of the things that were going on. Well, God was looking for someone ahead of time to get in front of some things and to thwart the plan of the enemy. But what if I would have just woke up and said, I don't know anybody in Korea. I don't know. This doesn't mean anything to me and just didn't even get involved. And so sometimes our dreams are a result of the spirit of God, the father God actually communicating through the spirit of God to get involved in different situations. So I always say, guess what? Prayer can't hurt, right? If you don't have full understanding or full clarity, Pray about it. Lift that situation up. Lift those people up. Who did you see in the dream? What faces stood out to you? You know, what was happening? Was someone in fear? Was someone running? Was someone sick? Was, you know, was the children involved? Whatever it is, get involved and allow the Spirit of God to make that connection. Okay? So.